Next, uh, there's only a couple tools that I'm going to show you beyond uh, what I've already shown you, and those are fairly simple. Now, one of them is called the adding a location. And adding a location literally means you add a location somewhere in the world. So I'm going to go to my city, find a piece of land, there's a piece of land, and then you're going to select a region that you want to use for your model. Now, assuming you would select your own property if you have a house, or somewhere where you would like to have a house, uh, if you're designing a house, and you can place it on there. So I'm going to grab that. And notice it shows up right in the center of my model, which is really helpful. Now, another thing, you would normally, I would say, want to do this at the beginning of your model, but um, sometimes it can c get in the way. Another thing that is helpful is you can actually add the terrain in the elevations that it pulls right out of Google Earth. So you can see all of a sudden now we have hills and slopes and um, so you can make it very realistic. Now if you just want to work on a flat surface you can flatten out the terrain and it'll do that. These have to do with Google Earth. I'm not going to explain those. They're actually going to be discontinuing some of these shortly so what's the point? And then, of course, the standard toolbar. If you had, didn't have that out before, um, it's not part of the Getting Started tool set. It's just helpful because it has an undo button on it, is why I like that. The next few tools relate to Google Earth. I'm not going to explain those. I believe they are discontinuing these since uh, Google is not associated with SketchUp directly anymore. But the models in the warehouse will still be there. So let's look at getting models and uploading models. If you have something great that you made, you can share it up on the Google warehouse or the Trimble warehouse, and it'll, it'll allow other people to download it. If you want to get something, you click on Get Models. And it's not necessarily talking about pretty ladies. It's talking about any sort of shape that was designed. So I'm going to put in Tree, and it'll have probably thousands of trees available that have been designed in SketchUp and will work. So let's go with a 3D tree. I'm going to click on download the model directly into my project and you'll see it right there. Now if you're wildly out of scale, like for instance if your shapes are 10,000 feet tall, the model will be a little dot. It will not scale with your dimension. So you, you want to consider that. That's why I do like to make things to a reasonable scale. This, just like anything else, can be copied. So if I hold the control button down, it'll grab a copy, bring it out. So as I'm copying this, I'm actually going to make sure I'm grabbing it by the bottom because if I copy it from the top, it'll likely push it into the surface. Let me show you. I'm going to copy from the top and it's just as likely to end up as a hedge on the ground if I'm not careful. It's harder to place it if you're not grabbing it by the surface you want to connect it to. So f let me try that again. Undo that. So if I instead grab it by the bottom and I want to touch it to the bottom, which is the ground, then it's much easier to place. So models are fun. There's thousands and thousands of models. Cars, planes, trains, automobiles. You can make your own. Upload them if you become good at SketchUp. And then other people will download them and enjoy what you've made as well. That is all I'm going to explain for now. I will present some more advanced lessons later on that are based on other toolbars. For now, practice with this and I think you'll go a long way towards becoming a SketchUp expert. Thank you. Thank you.